Now, investing in ETFs is a great way to get invested in the stock market without taking too much risk, but you still need to make sure to pick the best ones. Hello there, welcome to another video on investing in the stock market. If you have any questions, drop me a comment. If you like the video, hit subscribe. So we need to make sure we pick out the bad ETFs from the good. And the way we do this is to first and foremost, pick what kind of ETF you want to invest in. An ETF tracks an index. So it could be a US index, European index, financial index, technology. It could be um, large cap, small cap. It could be commodities. It could be high dividend, low dividend, uh, low risk, high risk. So first of all, you need to you know decide where you want to invest because that will narrow down the search for an ETF. Now, after that, the most important thing about an ETF is the dividend it pays. So dividend is interest on the money you invest, a guaranteed income, and then expense ratio. You know, ETFs are cheap, but they're not for free. You have to pay a certain percentage of your gains every year to the ETF provider actually running the ETF. So they do cost something. Now, uh, Vanguard and SPDR are the cheapest providers and they can have as low expense ratio as 0.1 to 0.4%. That's the range where they are. But if you want a little bit more special, unique, um, uh, different ETFs, you might have to pay as much as 0.6, 0.7%, but pretty much nothing above that. So if an ETF costs like 0.8, that's probably a little bit expensive. A good dividend is usually somewhere around 1.5 or 2%. The distribution of holdings means where the ETF has it, the money invested. So how much money is in the top 10 holdings? How uh, many holdings are there in the ETF? An ETF can have everything from 20 to you know, 1,000 holdings. Um, um, what industries or countries or a market cap size does the ETF have money in? So how much money is in the US? How much money is in um, industrials? How much money is in emerging markets, developed markets, etc., etc. This has something to do with where you want to invest your money and what kind of risk profile you want. For example, if you buy an Asian ETF and it has 50% of its money in, you know, Vietnam and Indonesia, that's a very risky ETF. But if it has 50% of its money in Japan, South Korea or China, it's a little bit more safe and stable. Uh, and then it is, this is a bit difficult to check, but uh, as I said, an ETF has an underlying index which it tries to follow. So it's trying to copy uh, an average and you should check how well the ETF tracks that index. So if you're buying an S&P 500 ETF, you should check how well it actually copies the S&P 500 because there are many different ways of um, uh, running an ETF and um, balancing it. And the best providers follow the indexes pretty much spot on. And then it's the provider. As I said, there are many ways to run ETFs. Some providers are cheaper than others. Some providers are have been along for a, have been around for a longer time, and some providers has different types of ETFs. So uh, Vanguard has very like broad ETFs: large cap, U.S., Asia, small cap bonds, that sort of stuff. While Global X has more like special ETFs like. Uh, robotics ETF, lithium ETF, China consumables ETF, they have like a social media ETF, all sorts of crazy stuff. So make sure you, it, it's, a, it's a good provider. Um, and here's a list of the biggest providers and their most popular ETFs. So uh, Vanguard and SPDR are by far the biggest. Uh, then uh, you have PowerShares, uh, and then BlackRock, I think, is um, under the iShares name. 
And then you have Global X, which is a very small provider, but I wanted to include it because it has a lot of uh, interesting ETFs. So for Vanguard, for example, you have the S&P 500, total US stock market, total international stock market, the bond market, etc., etc. For SPDR, it's going to be S&P 500 ETF, gold ETF, uh, financial ETF, Dow Jones. Uh, for power shares, you have QQQ, which is the NASDAQ ETF. Um, and then I can't remember all of the others, but the, 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 they all have pretty much the same ETFs, but some have uh, has a larger portfolio of ETFs than the others. BlackRock, same thing pretty much. But Global X, as I said, is a, a little bit special. So their largest ETFs are actually robotics and AI, lithium, super dividend. They have like uh, social media. They even have a millennia ETF for all the kids out there. They have, um, um, they have uh, a, a ch Chinese consumable ETF, a lot of interesting stuff. So have a look. If you want to find an ETF, I recommend www.etfdb.com. That stands for ETF database. They have a really good screener where you can pick through ETFs based on anything. Commodities, equities, bonds, real estate, high risk, low risk, mid cap, small cap, Asia, Russia, whatever you want. Um, so that's where I find my ETFs. So have a look out there. ETFs are very safe. They pay good dividend. It's very easy. They trade just like normal stocks. So it's a lot simpler than a mutual fund. So good luck with your investing and I'll see you in my next video.